Hello everyone, welcome to another one of Corteva's Seed Applied Technologies webinars. My name is Marcel Bravins and I'm Editorial Director for European Seed and I will be your host for today. The topic of today's webinar is Lumiposa in corn and we have an excellent set of speakers for you ready. But before diving into the presentation, I'd like to uh, ask the speakers if they could briefly introduce themselves. And I propose we go alphabetically, and I'd like to start off with Dania. Hello, welcome to our webinar. My name is Daniel Serbu. I'm Corteva Seed Applied Technology Manager responsible for Central and East Europe. I'm based in Bucharest, Romania. Dominic? Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Dominique Marquet. I am uh, the Seed Applied Technology Business Manager for South Europe, and I am based in uh, Spain, Seville. Nuseli? Yes, hello everybody. My name is Nuseli Fernandez. I'm based in France, in Auson, and I'm a part of the SAT team, and is a leader for the Center for Seed Applied Technology. Oleg? Yes, hello everyone. Uh, good uh, time of the day to, to you all. Uh, my name is Oleg Shevchuk, and I'm a European and Africa Middle East uh, City Applied Technology Field Biology Lead uh, accountable for product characterization and development. I'm based in France. I'll be happy to participate in this webinar today with you. Great. Thierry? Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> my name is uh, Thierry Romy, and uh, I'm the Seed Applied Technology Business Manager for Northern Europe, uh, based in France. Excellent. Thank you all. And before we start with the presentation, I'd like to mention that um, at the end of this webinar, we will be addressing several frequently asked questions. So please stay with us. Today's webinar will start off with Cherry. Cherry, the floor is yours. Thank you, Marcel. So corn is a strategic crop across Europe with more or less 25 million hectares. The last 10 years, the European farmers lost many products for insect and disease control. This is the case for neonics in EU28, but also some fungicide active ingredient. In the meantime, insect and disease became more and more difficult to control because of the development of resistance. Therefore, to help farmers to increase corn productivity, Corteva develops seed treatment portfolio for all corn market segments. The first one is Lumiposa, insecticide seed treatment for wireworm control and cutworm and also second, secondary pests. Lumiflex, fungicide seed treatment for edsmet control. And finally, Lumidapt, a growth enhancer seed treatment for growth and crop establishment improvement. On the slide, we summarize the distribution of European key pests which are attacking the corn young plant in the first vegetation stage. With green points, we have wireworm distribution, which are widely distributed in Europe. With orange, we can see cutworm, where we can find them all over the Europe. With red, we are talking about Western corn rootworm, first detected in Europe almost 20 years ago and has been invading the continent. With blue, we have maize leaf weevil, a dangerous foliar pest present mainly in southeast of Europe. Now, I will tell you a little bit more details for each, for each pest for, for a better understanding and uh, also to have, to have more details of, of each of them. I will start with wireworms which present a high damaging effect for many field crops. Wireworms are the larva of agriotis species and cause the damage, not the adult. Adult is generally called the click beetle. Based on different publication, four main species have been identified and caused the most economical damage. They are having an underground uh, they are having an underground life, and this is the reason why it's so difficult to control. The possibilities of the attack prevention are very limited. 
Now I will continue with the next slide with cutworms, Agrotis SPP. This presents a damaging effect of many field crops and it's found it all over the Europe. Two main species, Epsilon and Segetum, are the most widely distributed species. Cutworms have a very wide host range and several plants may be cut by a single larva. A larva will often cut one plant, quickly move to another plant and continue cutting. A small population of cutworms are capable to destroy or reduce the number of multiple number of plants per square meter with a high impact at the end in the year. On the next slide, I will tell you a little bit more details about corn, about Western corn rootworm, Diabrotica virgifera virgifera. First visible signs has been identified 20 years ago. In last 10 years, this pest has been spread to almost all important maize growing areas. When we're talking about plant lodging or uh, larval damages, this part has been recorded in countries including Serbia, Romania, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Poland, Hungary, Italy. Two development stages of this pest, larvae and adults, can cause the economical damage on the corn plant. Significant damages can occur from a larval feeding on the maize root system. On the next slide, I'm talking about maize leaf weevil, Tanimecus dilaticoris, which is one of the most dangerous foliar pests in southeast of Europe. We can find it partially in Hungary, south and southeast of Romania, north of Bulgaria, southwest of Ukraine. Every year, approximately 2.5 million hectares of spring crops, corn, sunflower, are attacked by this are attacked by this pest. The insect is very dangerous when the corn plants are in the first vegetation stage, up to four leaves. High temperature and drought are favorable conditions for insect attack. In some cases, plants are destroyed and the farmer moves sown again. Also, on top of this, on top of this pest, we, we can find other pests with regional importance, like corn fly, Joe Misa, Tripuntata, or fruit fly, or Scinellapi, causing the limited economical damage. Now I will hand over to my colleague. Thank you, Daniel, for for this uh, description. The, of the pests that we will be spending some time talking about today. Uh, those are the pests that really causing headaches uh, to farmers across Europe and uh, well, that's why uh, we have a, a, a good uh, tool to offer you now uh, in the uh, uh, name of uh, Lumiposa. So I will spend uh, my part of the presentation today to this webinar explaining the technicalities of use of Lumiposa, what is Lumiposa and uh, how it works against those pests. So Lumiposa, so this is an uh, insecticide seed treatment uh, designed specifically for field crops uh, uh, and the crop that we talk today is corn. However, it's not only limited to using corn, uh, many farmers already use this product on their winter citrate seeds that they are uh, today uh, sharing the uh, excitement about the, the protection that, co that uh, Lumiposa delivers uh, to, to their crop. Uh, specifically for corn, as uh, Daniel mentioned, we, had, we have the target described on the, on the table here, uh, being the, the virals and cutworms, as well as corn fly, rootworm, corn rootworm, maize leaf beetle, also grubs that Daniel hasn't mentioned, but uh, Lumiposa in other parts of the world controls well grubs uh, effectively. The active ingredient of Lumiposa is cyanotronin pro that belongs to diamide group of chemistry. The formulation is specifically designed for this treatment, flowable suspension, and it contains 625 grams of cyanotronic per liter. 
that falls well into the uh, use, uh, use rate. They are very um, handy. Uh, we recommend to use 750 micrograms of Lumiposa uh, per, per seed. Uh, that translates into the 96 milliliters uh, of product and 80,000 uh, seeds unit. Or if, you, if uh, that is 60 milliliters per 50,000 unit. Uh, seed. So the um, maximum rate of lumiposa per hectare is 108 milliliters per hectare. For the mode of action, lumiposa and cyanogypro belongs to group 28 according to IREC uh, classification. The key technical advantages of lumiposa are uh, excellent and outstanding control of cutworms, the important pairs that uh, Daniel mentioned. As well, uh, it pr provides the best in class wirewall. Uh, protection uh, and it's last long, you know, last longer than anything else uh, provides today on the market, up to four leaf stage or around 30 days after planting. Uh, the benefit of, uh, of the product is a uniform and uh, superior crop establishment as a result. Uh, because Lumipose is a systemic product, it provides a more consistent and longer lasting protection than any other product that is uh, available to, uh, to the farmers and the users on the market. So this slide, uh, this slide here describes how uh, product works. In one word or two words, uh, to be concise, products actually stop stop insects from feeding. Uh, Cyanotrin April is a RNA receptor, uh, so uh, that binds to the RNA receptor and actually this receptor is responsible for releasing the calcium from intercellular spaces uh, of the tissues of the insect uh, muscles. So uh, when depleted from calcium, the function of muscle contraction is not there anymore. So uh, insect cannot eat. Uh, but however, uh, to, for the product to be effective, insect needs still to bite a little bit of, of, the, of the plant tissue. However, that bite is not um, critical for the plant to survive and at overgrow this small initial uh, pest uh, uh, eating habits. Uh, through all the development of the product, uh, we have spent a lot of efforts to understand how product performs and the um, biggest part of that activity was dedicated to, to wireworms performance. So we have a very solid database to support our wireworm claim uh, on the label. Uh, we have a small data set also to, to demonstrate the product performance on the platforms and as a secondary pests uh, uh, that are important to, uh, to corn growers. So firstly, talking about the mucosa performance against wireworms. So straight into action, uh, here on this slide we see that Lumiposa uh, provides excellent protection against wireworm. In this situation that you see on the picture, this is a field in the northern France uh, that was uh, highly attacked by, by wireworms. In that difficult situation for the crop, there is no chance uh, against the wireworms. As you can see in the middle of the pot, wireworms destroyed completely the crop, so there is no harvest potential to be expected here. Contrary, Lumiposa on the plots left and right of that, to that untreated plot provides uh, crop a chance. Uh, it delivers excellent control in that heavy infestation by wireworms. How do we translate that into numbers? So uh, there are several parameters that we measure normally can be do trials and one of the parameters is the crop emergence. So on this um, slide here uh, uh, there are two bars. So there one is in pose and yellow and, and you know, the market reference in, in the blue so both products improve the emergence of the crop. So, but Lumiposa delivers better than the reference crop emergence. So that means there is a underground damage uh, to, to, the, to the seeds is done. Uh, both products provide the effective control. However, Lumiposa outperform the reference. And if you talk about comparison of Lumiposa to the untreated seeds, we deliver around 26% flow or more plants that are emerging as a result of use of Lumiposa that compares to, to reference that delivers only 118% of, 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 of the uh, you know, crop emergence. 
uh, the viral control, so as crop develops, um, uh, the above ground uh, visibility uh, of the crop uh, become evident. Uh, we, we notice that plants emerge uh, and they still get attacked. In that situation, Miposa shows 50% less plants attacked than, than, their, uh, than the untreated plots. And if you compare it to the reference, which is uh, the, the bar in blue, we have around 16% better performance than the, the market reference today. As, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, Lumiposa delivers uh, more consistent and reliable control due to the, uh, the nature of the systemic nature of the product. So here on this slide, we, we compare two different situations where uh, product was used uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the best pressure. The, the two bars here represent the activity of Lumiposa and the reference in the situation where we have low to moderate pest infestation. And as you can see in this uh, situation, Lumiposa is outperform outperforming the reference. However, in the high to very high pest, pest pressure situations, the reference is failing uh, greatly, while Lumiposa still delivers a great benefit of protection against wire wounds. So two situations, consistency is on side of Lumiposa. At the end, how do we translate that into the added value of the product? Well, here is the yield results. We, we see that Lumiposa delivers about 25% yield increase as compared to the untreated plots. And it also greater than the reference, which is around 8% better than the reference. Well, you can easily calculate the, 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 the financial impact of use of Lumiposa, and this financial impact is greater with, uh, with the uh, yield potential that farmer expect in, the, in his uh, fields. So more yield expected, the more benefit you get with the protection of Lumiposa. And this is a split over the different trials that we have done and measured the yield. So just, the one, you know, just to confirm what I said in the previous slide, we have 25% yield increase over the untreated. And the rate of, um, uh, the number of cases where Lumiposa wins in terms of the gaining the debt yield benefit is 94% of the cases. So in 94% of the cases, Lumiposa wins against the untreated plots. Cutworms, as uh, Daniel mentioned, uh, these are very damaging pests and uh, one larva can eat several plants. And uh, well, um, this bar in blue here, you can see that on the most in inevitable or irreversible pest damage, which is plant cut, Lumiposa delivers 93% uh, control of that pest. So 93% uh, of plants survive, where it's untreated would not be existent at that time. Uh, at the same time, Lumiposa shows a great uh, emergence versus the untreated, as in case of cutworms, but here the effect is, is, is better because uh, the, cut, uh, the cutworms uh, are more susceptible than virals to Lumiposa. Uh, at the same time, 70% plants in addition are healthier than in the untreated plants, so 170 versus 100% the untreated plants um, are, are healthier. And overall reduction of severity of damage of the crop by cutworms is around 70%. Diabrotica. Well, this pest is important to, to some parts, as Daniel mentioned, in, in Europe. Uh, with um, current market conditions where no, not, not many products left that effectively control this pest, what we can offer is uh, a great, great secondary benefit, uh, secondary effect uh, on the abrotica. On three parameters that we measured here uh, on the abrotica, the, the percent of emergence, the lodging, and root damage, we see that Lumiposa improves the emergence by 16% against the untreated. The rate of lodging is much lower than in case of the untreated. On the root damage scale, so uh, zero to three scale, that used to evaluate the trial uh, the efficacy uh, against the abrotica, we have 0 0.4 uh, points against 1.2 points in the case of the untreated plots. So how do we translate this into effective percent control? So we are on 70% root damage reduction with Lumiposa against Diabrotica. Well, this is something that, which, uh, which brings value? Well, I believe so. 
uh, yeah, great, great uh, performance with Sumiposa on Diabrotica. Um, well, we are putting more efforts to, to deliver more data on this best uh, in, in the coming uh, in ongoing trials. On this slide, this is a visualization of that effect of mucosa and on diabrotica uh, larvas that damage the roots. So here on the left, you see the untreated root. Uh, plant of the untreated root that literally does not exist anymore. So there is no chance this plant will survive a heavy, ra uh, heavy rain or strong wind, which is, uh, happen, can happen uh, close to the harvest. So uh, in fact, this will um, definitely uh, stop uh, effective harvesting operations uh, in the field. So Lumiposa here, gives you excellent, moderate to excellent protection of, uh, of, uh, of the crop and the root system is there, so it delivers the harvest potential. There is a, uh, a great, great uh, demonstration of lumipose efficacy against uh, diabrotica um, uh, larvis uh, here. Tanimecus, um, the above ground pest that can cause a lot of headaches to, to the growers of corn, but other crops as well. Um, before existence of uh, neonics on a regular basis, of course, they were the most efficient uh, solution. However, today, where this is a limitation and uh, there is no um, uh, product uh, are limited in the availability or non-existent in some countries, uh, Lumiposa is the second best choice to control uh, Padimecus. On these charts here, we see that the ne effective neonic product, and this is Lumiposa, and this is untreated. So this results in around 50% Tanimecos leaf damage as compared to the untreated, uh, which is again uh, still a, a very useful uh, secondary effect against uh, Tanimecos. Geomisa uh, is, uh, is, uh, is a pest that's important, especially in France, uh, north, northwestern France, western France, uh, central France. Uh, this past is nuisance, and of course, uh, well, uh, limited solutions today available. Um, on, on this uh, drone image, you see that the, the, the solution that is available there is, a, is a soil granule insecticide, which is here, um, delivers only uh, limited uh, protection. The, the level of damage of, uh, of the crop is geomisa is around 30% which is not far away from damage caused in the untreated plots. Whereas Lumiposa is causing uh, the great protection or delivering great protection against uh, Geomisa, where the, the damage is around 17%. So that's translated into the numbers uh, of percent control, the around 60% uh, efficacy against Geomisa. Uh, well, this is a, a great result uh, from, from Lumiposa, uh, where we can claim a secondary effect against this pest. So all in all, uh, having all those uh, great uh, trials results that we get from uh, our field uh, testing, uh, the efficacy comes with the safety, uh, safety to pollinators and the environment. So uh, we at Corteva have done a lot of uh, trials to prove that the integrity and sustainability of the product against pollinators of beneficial insects uh, there is no doubt that uh, this um, effort continues and uh, uh, we believe that Lumiposa is uh, a product that can be offered for integrated pest solution because it is um, uh, safe to, to the beneficial, to the environment and uh, the differentiation between uh, the pest that Lumiposa control and the, the beneficial uh, organism and insects and bees is that Lumiposa acts against the insect that feeds on the plant tissues, whereas the beneficials, they, they do not. So uh, product is safe, can be used in integrated uh, pest management programs. So in conclusion, why Lumiposa is different? Well, uh, Lumiposa is a modern, modern technology. It's a, it's a new and novel uh, corn seed treatment that contains cyanide growth. It provides best-in-class cut form and uh, control and provides consistent and long-lasting revival protection up to uh, the period of 40, uh, 30 days or so foliage stage of, of the crop. Uh, the uniform emergence 
And crop establishment leads to a greater benefit in terms of yield and financial impact on, on the uh, performance of crop in, in the farmer field. So it's systemic, gives lasting protection, it's safe, and poses very low risk to, to the beneficial and the environment. So the product sustainability is there. Modern technology, a great solution for the farmers. So that's it from my side. Thank you for your attention. And I pass the floor to Neil Sally, who will talk about the application of the product on the seed and seed safety. Thank, Thank you, Oleg. Thank you, Oleg. Next slide, please. One more, yes. So another important step that we have here in Corteva is to study the behavior of the product in point of view for application. So in Corteva, all these studies normally is done in the Center for Seed Applied Technology that are studying in around the world. We have several centers. And the, because this is really important before we launch this product for the market and deliver for our customer the right uh, recipe for application. These studies normally uh, are done in different steps and you can see here in the right part. We start with the, the chemical compatibility is a really important point when we put all the products together because the recipe is a combination of the different products. It's, it could be a fungicide, insecticide, fertilizers, biological coating. And the first step is to check the chemical compatibility. After that, we can go for the coverage of the seeds to check if the amount of slurry, the amount of the coating is, is correct for this recipe. And at the same time, we check about the product addition. This is really important step because sometimes when we treat the seeds and you look, the seeds appear really good. But after some abrasion, we can see the loss of the product. That is really important to make sure that we cannot lose the product after the, the bagging, for instance. Other important test that we assess also is the plantability. The plantability is really important for the farmer to make sure that you have the right amount of the seeds for the area that they are planting. Other important point that we assess too is the flowability and the flowability is related mainly for the seed production site when we can check if the, the seeds are flew correctly according the, the, the expectation. So the, the Lumiposa is really a favor, fa, fa, favorable for chemical compatibility with all the seed treatment that we have in the market. And, but it's important to follow the, the label and also the recommendation that we can provide by, for our customer. So this is for the point of view for the operators. This kind of uh, assessment is important because we cannot interfere in the productivity for the operation during the application. Next slide, please. Here are an example of the test that you provide. This is dust assessment. Normally, we do, do this test using a hellback equipment that you can see here, this hellback. In this moment, we check if our recipe are really good, are not a release dust, and mainly that if, the, if there is some dust, it must to be below the ESTA standard that we use for this. For Lumiposa, all the recipes that we are testing are low, is below, sorry, is below the ESTA standard. That means that we are really uh, into the, the, the law. It's important to, to use the correct coating for we do this kind of application because we know that we have different quality of the coatings. It is important to make sure that the active ingredient are in, on the seeds and also the distribution of the seed, these products on the seed because this can relate it with the efficacy on the, in the field situation. Next slide. Next slide, please. Oleg, oops. So this is an example that also we have uh, studied a lot in Corteva for all different genetics. This is seed safety testing. When we treat the seeds and we store the seeds for a long time. The idea of, of this is to check if the lumiposa or the composition of different recipes can be some impact of the germination during the storage time. 
For lumiposa, lumiposa is really, really selective for the seeds. No problem, we cannot see phytotoxic problems during the, the first moment and also for the, the storage time. This is a good, I would say, good performance of the products is really important because we cannot discard seeds during the season. Some, some products are more, I would say, phytotoxic and in some times we can discard the seeds because the quality is not good for sales. Then for the, the company, for the seed production, it's really important to have products that are really selective for, 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 for our seeds. These kind of tests are done not with only or one or two different genetics, but is a lot of different genetics. And normally we ask for the, 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 our customer to use this kind of product, this kind of test for we make sure that the genetics is protected with this. Okay, next slide. Now I can move for Dominic, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you nicely. Uh, I, I propose uh, we move now to the regulatory part of uh, lumiposa and corn. So uh, what is uh, the current situation of uh, lumiposa registration on corn in all Europe? Um, actually, lumiposa in corn is already registered in a free country, uh, in Russia, Ukraine and Serbia. Regarding uh, EU 27 uh, part, uh, as you know, uh, Poland is a rapporteur member state. So Poland is um, the country managing the, the full dossier for all Europe. Uh, and we expect uh, the registration in Poland next year uh, in March 2021, March, April 2021. Then uh, other member states will have the possibility to ask for mutual recognition, for example. And uh, as this process uh, will spend uh, other six uh, to 12 months, uh, depending to the country, we expect a, a final register in this uh, other country of Europe in uh, just in 2022. So uh, this means that uh, during the next uh, planting season uh, in some months, uh, European corn farmers shouldn't have access yet to this uh, new solution. So uh, under this uh, risk of getting without any solution of substitution, you easily understand that uh, farmer association uh, in some country are yet moving card uh, to get a new solution for, for the next planting. And uh, the only possibility for them to get corn seeds treated lumiposa next year is through an emergency use permit. So you, you have, uh, you, you can see on this, uh, on this slide, uh, the, the eight country where farmers today uh, and corn industry association have started uh, with their respective administrations uh, the emergency use request procedure for, for next campaign. So it's a uh, eight country, Portugal, France, Italy, Greece, Bulgaria, Slovenia and Austria. Uh, in each bubble I, I have indicated an expected date, date of uh, answer. Uh, the first one should be Italy uh, in 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 few few weeks, uh, but now uh, we, we we need to wait uh, the, the answer of the, the administration. So that's all for me, Marcel. I give you the rose. Excellent, thank you all so much. That was really interesting. Uh, what, what for me was particularly shocking was the enormous amount of hectares that are being uh, affected by, by all these pests. It's in the millions of hectares where, uh, where all these various uh, insects are, are attacking the young corn plants. So that, that for me immediately underlines the clear need of products like this. So uh, that's I now like to go into a, uh, a brief Q&A session. Uh, Corteva has uh, collected some of the most frequently asked questions and I'd like to um, ask the speakers today if, if they would uh, if they could shine the light on, uh, on some of these questions. I'll start off with, uh, with this one. what One of the first questions that a customer, a potential customer may have is where will the product be available? Is it going to be upstream or downstream market? 
who would like to shed a light on that? Daniel, I can take it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Good question. Lumiposa corn will be used by seed companies, breeders, and industrial seed processors. The treatment conducted in their factories, facilities, professionally, and with the high performance equipment will assure a top quality treatment. Generally, when we are talking about the seed treatment part, at the end is the first step in the crop protection program. And in some cases, is the only solution in control of pests or pathogen. After sowing, having limited or no solution for control of this of these uh, pathogens and uh, and pests, Lumiposa will be available for this for this for this level uh, upstream upstream market because uh, in these cases the quality of the treatment is at a, at a different level. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but we also know that uh, there is already Lumiposa for oilseed rape, for winter oilseed rape. Is, is Lumiposa for oilseed rape and Lumiposa for corn the same product? Well, I can, I can answer that. Uh, I, I briefly touched it on, on my presentation. So, uh, yes, it's exactly the same product, uh, exactly the same formulation, uh, but it fits well into both corn and oilseed rape. And winter oil uh, The rate for oil citrap is adjusted accordingly, and uh, well, we have the recommendations for that crop as well. So that can be another set of uh, uh, data that we can present. It's not part of today's discussion, but of course, yes, we, we have a full dossier, and this product already registered in oil citrap, as you know. Uh, products are identical. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thanks, Oleg. Um, but uh, based on the data we just saw, uh, can you comment whether customers can already use this product in the 2022 spring season? Um, I could try to, mm -hmm. to, to, to answer. You are speaking about 2022 yeah. uh, planting seasons. Yeah. So, okay. So 2022 planting seasons uh, at this, uh, so in two years, uh, Poland will uh, have uh, theoretically the, the, the register. So uh, all the seed um, processed in, in Poland should be able to be exported in all other Europe, uh, other country of Europe. The other country will have, uh, will receive their register only at the beginning of 2022. So it could be, uh, it could be short <laughs> to, to, to anticipate the uh, fabrication. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe, uh, maybe it will be possible uh, in, in some country to, to, to begin um, uh, the, the, the fabrication, uh, the, the application. But uh, what is sure eh, is that um, all the product uh, made in, uh, in Poland will be, will be will have the possibility to be exported, yes, mm -hmm. okay. in all other country. Okay, great. Uh, but we also know that the, uh, in Europe, there's less and less insecticide uh, treatments available. Um, how do you see the sustainability of this solution? Well, I can, uh, can, I can try to answer this. Um, as I, as I uh, was presenting also, also during, during my part of this webinar, mm -hmm. the product According to what we have not, what we know about the product, what we have studied about the product, all the studies support the long-term sustainability of Lumiposa. It's safe to beneficials, it's safe to bees, or it's safe to environment. Um, we, are, we are behind the product. We uh, we see the great potential of the product. It integrates into the integrated pest management product safely. Uh, so uh, we believe in full and long life of, of the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's very important. Very good to know. Thanks, Oleg. Uh, what what is the registered rate per ton of seeds? Well, again, as I can take this, so uh, in uh, in 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 European Union, we express the rate as I, exp uh, as I mentioned is uh, micrograms active ingredient per seed, which is seven fifty micrograms active per seed. In the countries where the rate expression 
is uh, has to be defined as a uh, liters per ton or milliliters per hundred kilos. So uh, those countries, for example, Russia or Ukraine, we have the registration, which is ranges from 2.7 to 5.4 liters per ton. Mm -hmm. That's what I Mm -hmm. 2.7 to 5. Point, what was it? 5.4 5. liters per, per ton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. And in Turkey, we would have the expression as a milliliters per hundred kilos of, of the product. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. We already know that the product is is registered in uh, in in a few countries. Uh, so can a can a customer uh, carry out the treatment in uh, the EU 27? in those countries where the product is already registered? Yes, I can, can give the answer. So, so for sure, so as we, we have the registration in uh, Serbia, Ukraine and, uh, and Russia, there is the, the possibility for uh, treating uh, uh, in France, for example, and to export uh, to the CIS uh, countries, but we have to wait registration in EU 27 for uh, uh, treating and using the product uh, in, uh, in EU 27. So when we will have the registration in Poland next year, in this case, we will have the possibility to treat in Poland and then to export in the other EU 28 uh, countries. And then when we will have the registration in other country, of course, it will be possible to treat in those countries in EU 27. Okay. Okay, great. We know that you cannot just uh, apply an active ingredient directly onto the seed. You'll need other, uh, other compo compounds, uh, polymers, for example. Is it necessary to apply a special polymer uh, for this specific treatment? Yes, Marcel. As I, I Oleg explained, Lumiposa can be used for the both crop, corn and oil seed rape. But the coating, the polymer is different. And also the rate and the way to apply is different. The amount of water is different. So the combination of the recipe that is important to study previously, as I explained before, to make sure that the amount of the polymer and amount of water and amount of the product is right for, the, for deliver for in the end for each seed to receive the right amount of the product that they need to protect on the field. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Natalie. Uh, of course, we know that the product is killing off uh, a good amount uh, of insects, but uh, the, the young plants, of course, uh, don't need to, to suffer. Did you check the germination of, of the seeds? Is that affected by, by the treatment? Yes, uh, as I explained in my, my slide, you, you see a, a graphic there. We test a lot for the seed safety testing, for germination and for vigor. And you have a really good results with Lumiposa and the recipes that have with Lumiposa. And you have results more than 18 months seed treated without any problem for the vigor and the, the germination. This is a really important uh, step for, for us to check because it's related also with the product, but also with the genetic that we are treating the seeds. Mm. Then two, two factors important to, 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 to study for a long and long process. Okay, that's that's great. Well, looking at the, the clock, I'm I'm afraid that's all that we have for today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank our expert speakers for for joining us uh, today and 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 sharing their expertise on this on this topic. And and to our audience, I hope you found this uh, information of of value. Uh, probably good to know that the recording of this uh, webinar will be made available on uh, Corteva's YouTube channel and also will be available at uh, sat.corteva.com. Thanks again, stay safe, and I wish you all a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you.